might be in sixth grade, you might be 62 years old like me. But each one of us has a, a fiber, a thread, a spirit in us that resents being ordered. We are a country that is undefeated. You try to touch our freedom, you don't win. Okay? So bring that to bear when somebody's telling you to do drugs. That's absurd because, number one, that person's telling you. When you do it, you're already announcing to him that he's cooler than you. By the way, how many people still use the word cool? Adults behind me, I'm shocked at how that, you, that word has lasted. When I was a kid, they used cool too. And I have things in my refrigerator that are older than most of you. When it comes down to this idea of somebody making you do something that is not only something, you're, you're surrendering. If, that's your, if you've got pride, you're surrendering your wishes to theirs. And you're elevating them and depressing yourself. Not only that, you're doing something very dangerous. See, that's the other side. And by the way, peer pressure, you know who you are. You know if you set the trend. You know if you're a leader or not. Whatever reason, that was born in you, a lot of that, or nurtured by parents. I want you to see peer pressure from the other way. I want to talk to the people who make peer pressure, the people who make it cool. What's wrong with making something good be cool? Nothing. Okay, absolutely nothing, and that's where I'm calling for you people that are leaders, the 5, 10, 15, to rise to that occasion. We have a law professor from Duquesne University, we have a judge, we have the public defender, we have a gifted trial tactics teacher. They're all going to be introduced to you by, by, by Larry later. But the most important message in that is that they care. Remember, we talked about um, when the kids were here, the Titanic over theme to this. People would say, what's the Titanic got to do with that? And some of you were here, you got to hear this little canned version one more time. The biggest lesson learned for me from that moment was that two people, two different boats, the California and the Carpathia, listened to the CDQ. S SOS was relatively new then. Listened to CDQ at midnight. And what they, those two captains do and don't do is very reflective of who we are today. One captain will turn his boat around and head in the direction of those signals with little or no directions. His officers with their white uniforms on will shovel coal, taking turns with the, the deckhands. Back then, we're talking 1902, rivets on their boilers will be stretched to the point in time where they think they're going to explode that boat any minute. They've never heated those boilers that hot, that long. And they kept on going. He will arrive at 4 a.m. and everybody will have drowned, including people like John Jacob Astor. The Californian was five miles away and never moved. I don't have any answers. I certainly don't have all the answers. I do have a big mouth and lots of friends. And my goal is to go to every one of these counties, and this school is going to have this again in um, September, and we want to see 67 of these things up here. And we want Mercer County to draw all of these states. You're going to see, that's the Newcastle City's flag, Eddie Urge brought that. We want to see the Sharon flag, the Farrell flag. We want to bring people together so that we can do something. I don't know what yet, okay? If you'll hear that later from people a lot smarter than me, and all day tomorrow, by the way. All open to the public all day, you'll hear some brilliant doctors, and if you're a doctor, you'll learn things. I see Matt Mangino here, a former member of the parole board. That is, they're going to teach us later what to do. But what I want you to know when you leave here is you must do something. I am not, nor any of my friends, going to be on, cap on the other captain's boat. We want to be on Captain Rostron's boat. Because the Carpathia did not save 1,500 people, but it did save 750 people who were in those light boats. And that man, I am sure, when he walked into the gates, was, said, it was told, well done, thy good and faithful servant. With that emotional moment, I want us all to remember, again, not who we are, but what we are. We're Americans. We figure things out. We don't sit and wait for somebody else to do something about it. We do whatever we can. This is about a learned debate among all members of the community, and these people are here to tell you that it starts here, it does not end here. Dr. Peter Iacino.
The Honorable Christian St. John Common Pleas Court of Mercer County. The Honorable John M. Durkin, Mahoning County Court of Common Pleas, Mahoning County Drug Court, Mahoning County, our next door neighbor. And we are coming to the public schools, the backbone of the community, brick and mortar facilities, and places to begin a learned debate. These people care about you. Please show them your Kennedy Catholic appreciation. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. My name's Lane Garrison, and on December 2nd, 2006, my life changed forever. Yeah, we did it! Principal Brown. It was excellent. We're graduates, baby! Oh, shit, you just hit that. Jake, Jake, Jake. Drunk driving is not an accident. Every year, there are over half a million alcohol-related car accidents in the United States alone. I'm fine, I'm fine. I almost hit that range. Look at you! Jesus! No, I oh, no. <laughs> Ask yourself if you've ever driven after having a few drinks. I've gotten into a car with someone who has been drinking. If you answered yes, you were lucky. Lucky you didn't get into an accident. Lucky you didn't die. Lucky you didn't kill anyone. Oh. Going so slow. It's like a submarine. Hello? Hey. Go back. smart. Make a better decision. Call a cab. Call your parents. Call a friend. Take someone's keys away if you have to. Just do whatever it takes. Just don't drink and drive. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I know, because it happened to me.